Total shoulder replacement is becoming an increasingly common operation for arthritis of the shoulder. Total knees and total hips are very well known to the general public. Uh, total shoulder replacements are less well known because shoulder arthritis, although very prevalent, is not as crippling as arthritis in the hip and knee because you don't have to walk on your shoulder. That being said, with baby boomers getting to the age where they're requiring health care, we are seeing a tremendous increase in the number of patients with severe arthritis in the shoulder, which is unresponsive to conservative treatment, and the same principles which provide pain relief, added motion, and enhanced lifestyle for total hip and total knee patients uh, is being uh, realized by total shoulder patients. Physical therapy and stretching are the mainstay of conservative treatment for almost all shoulder injuries prior to intervention if possible. Fractures, of course, you can't do that, but for degenerative conditions, the conservative treatment methods should always be used before surgery. Home stretching, physical therapy, the use of oral anti-inflammatory medications, and occasionally steroid injections will relieve the pain sufficiently in many, if not most people, and preclude the need for surgery. The best candidate would be uh, an older patient that has degenerative arthritis, has severe pain which has been unresponsive to conservative treatment, and has retained most of their range of motion. They need to be in fair health and not have any serious fractures or previous injuries around the shoulder, and those patients do very excellent. Total shoulders uh, recover really quite rapidly. In general, you have to protect the shoulder for six to eight weeks from rigorous activity, but that does not prevent gentle, passive range of motion doing simple activities of daily living, uh, eating, reading, putting on clothes. You cannot do overhead lifting or heavy lifting until you're six to eight weeks from the total shoulder. But the time frame for healing is really related to letting the muscles heal that you have to work through to do the total shoulder. The total shoulder itself is stable and relieving pain the moment it is put in. Patients that are considering total shoulder surgery should first be sure that they have given the non-operative treatments an adequate trial. And if the pain is significant in altering their lifestyle, then they should seek an opinion from a surgeon experienced in total shoulder surgery to consider if they are indeed a candidate for a shoulder replacement.